Okay, so we've decided to get rid of this um, bifold door that we have in our old home here. Uh, it's always been a big problem in the way. Uh, as you can see, we have a dining table here. It's very tight quarters fitting through here. These doors just flop open and closed. It's not very uh, useful and it's kind of outdated looking. So we are going to remove these uh, bifold doors and put in a pocket door. Uh, but the idea is I just want to remove one uh, side of the sheetrock and without damaging the uh, dining room area sheetrock. And this is how we're going to do it. We're going to save this side of the wall here and not damage any of the sheetrock or texture. Just going to work from the other side of this wall. Here's the wall that we're going to work inside of. Uh, this is inside of our... Uh, laundry room. This is where we're going to rip out the sheetrock and the studs and reframe this area for our pocket door and remove our bifold doors that are in right now. So a little bit of work but now it's time for demo. Pretty easy just to cut out the jam here and start removing just this one side of the wall sheetrock we're only going to remove one side. We're going to save the other side, being careful not to damage the other side of the sheetrock as we remove this sheetrock. Once we get this cleared out, I'm going to explain how we removed the studs in the wall here without damaging the uh, sheetrock on the other side. Here we got the sheetrock removed now. Examining what's hidden behind the wall. Uh, looks like this is going to be a load-bearing wall. So we're going to put up some uh, support on the other side of this in a minute here. Here's a little close-up view of uh, what was behind the wall. Going to put a new header up here on the top to re replace this one here. That stretches all the way across the opening. As you can see, here's where we supported the wall. Now it's time to remove the studs. What I used here is a jigsaw. You need this jigsaw to, we're gonna cut out the uh, studs. And this Dremel uh, Multimax, we used a metal cutting blade on here to cut out the nails. So if you look at these red lines here, this is where we're gonna use the jigsaw and cut down through the studs as close to the sheetrock as we can. As we can. The uh, yellow dots is where I drilled a pilot hole to put the uh, jigsaw blade through and we got the jigsaw as close to the sheetrock as we can using a metal cutting blade cutting the wood uh, because there were also a lot of nails so we want to make sure we cut through these nails with a nail cutting blade uh, metal cutting blade versus the wood blade so uh, that's what we did we cut down with that and then we used the Dremel once the studs were pretty much ripped down we had about an inch and a half left on the sheetrock we took the Dremel blade with a metal cutting blade to cut the nails between the sheetrock and the remaining stud we slipped the blade between there and uh, each nail behind the sheetrock we cut. As you can see in these photos, some damage between uh, the sheetrock behind here. This is where we uh, removed several nails where the uh, sheetrock was attached to the studs. So this was another very, very time consuming process, but we did get it done and the other side of the sheetrock is saved and nothing is damaged. Uh, just a few nails kind of vibrated it out. So next we'll uh, install the header. The other side is easy to patch up a couple of you know vibrating nails is no big deal versus uh, retexturing to match the whole area. So we got our header installed um, as you can see here and it is that was not very hard at all to do. We've removed the uh, temporary support on the wall. The wall is now ready to get uh, framed up with our new uh, pocket door hardware. Uh, we use the uh, Johnson hardware. This is a 1500 series pocket door. We use the ball bearing uh, hangers 
Um, they have two different hangers, and we also ordered the um, jam kit from them. Here is the jam kit. This was very easy to do. We didn't have to really worry about trimming out the uh, door with that. Uh, so here is the uh, frame, the pocket door frame hung up now, as you can see. Um, this was very easy to do, very simple instructions. Took no time at all. We also uh, taped up inside the uh, sheetrock where we had damaged some of the sheetrock, as you can see here, just to make sure uh, we don't have any problems. Here's a closer view of the uh, pocket door frame. And uh, now we've got our special order door in to match the rest of the doors. And it looks like it's working very well here. As you can see, it slides inside the uh, between the frame here uh, very well. Not really giving any measurements here because uh, each measurement on your door will be different. Uh, just uh, to follow the instructions in the uh, pocket door kit. And as you can see, it works very well. You can adjust the um, the way the door hangs to make sure it's level and square and plumb. Now we've uh, all we have left to do is re-sheetrock and uh, close in our newly framed area. And we've put the uh, door jam kit around the uh, door frame opening there, as you can see. Uh, so now we're ready to... Uh, get this uh, taped up and finish up the sheetrock but uh, it looks quite well turned out very nice so far now this area was never actually textured so we're going to go ahead and texture this whole room for some reason as you can see this is the living room side of where the dining room was all we have to do is uh, we put our uh, molding and trim around the door and uh, there's the uh, inside of the laundry room all taped up now drying getting ready for it to uh, get the texture on the wall taking our time to make sure we get it nice and smooth this is a small area to do pretty simple to do I recommend getting the uh, a texture gun actually to do this big of an area um, well worth the investment versus those uh, small cans of texture you can buy to patch up little areas this uh, was very very simple to do we have the knockdown uh, texture here we sprayed it on let it set for a few minutes and uh, as you can see we got it sprayed all over the walls and then we just knock it down with a uh, knockdown knife they have a spatula for to knock down the uh, texture and there you have it, the uh, knockdown texture inside of our uh, newly repaired sheetrock we hung. Now we've got it all uh, painted to match the original wall. We'll put our uh, trim around now, and we have the uh, inside pretty much finished. The door still works, slides. Just got to put a little trim around the bottom there, and... Uh, the door turned out quite well. The hardest part was uh, removing the studs, most definitely. So uh, those two tools came in quite handy to uh, remove the stud. Here's the uh, dining room side. We've got the uh, door, uh, the trim around there replaced. And uh, a little touch-up paint is all it took. And there it is. The door is finished. A little bit of time, a little bit of work, but in the end, it turned out very well. Okay, so here we are uh, three years later. Our pocket door has been hung for three years. We have not had one single problem. This thing has not moved at all. No adjustments have been needed. You can see our hardware here we had added on the door. You can see it slides very nicely with little to no effort. And it slides in just like that. You can see over here, textured wall. This is the side that we uh, left and did not you know, do any uh, removal of. 
over here. This is the uh, the jam kit. They had it uh, here and little strips of wood to cover the uh, uh, pocket door framing. So th these pieces here came in the uh, jam kit next to here. Very easy to do. Already cut and measured to fit around this uh, door opening. So there it is. Uh, slides very well and no problems whatsoever. So let me show you the other side where we did all the work. As you can see, still three years later and no problems whatsoever. So uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully this will help you on your next project of uh, installing a pocket door or remodeling or re adding one into a, an existing wall. So uh, uh, check out our blog um, to see more about how we installed this uh, pocket door if you like. Um, there's more photos, details, um, and descriptions along the way in the process of installing this uh, pocket door here. So uh, thanks for watching.